Alright ladies and gentlemen, back in action here again. We are going to uh, get this Volvo, I guess he's having a computer issue. I guess uh, from the computer to the trans or something or another, it's not uh, it's not linking together. So, uh, yeah, they call for a tow. So we're going to go ahead and hop out here. We're going to tow this thing to uh, the T8. We are kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Is it a low one, Pat? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, the other ones. <laughs> like the, the smaller, you know the smaller ones that you have in your truck? No, the bigger ones in that. Uh, they might, those might be the ones actually that we use. All right, I'm gonna back her on up here. You want to start an invoice? That's my long time buddy friend Pat. He usually drives a 12 ton, but I have him come with me whenever we get a chance for him to kind of learn a little bit here. It just looks a little different because he's got a. No, oh, that might be bigger. No, I, I think it might be the wider ones. I think it is. It looks wider. It looks a little bit wider for sure. I'll just test it real quick here. Yeah, because we're gonna have to grab it on the inside, so grab the wider ones for sure. they start putting that dumb thing there? Huh? I don't know when they started doing that.
That one's got to go in a little bit on that side. Good? Flip it around. It's usually not how you do it, but. No, yours has got to come in towards me. You're hitting like a stud. I can't. That's it? Sometimes you gotta flip it. Let's uh, pop the hood and get air in. You got air in it right now? You wanna release the brakes right now for us? And then pop the hood too, buddy. What's a drive shaft like? Uh, I didn't even look. I just started to use it. There we go. Right. I mean, that one I took off, that straight one works? Yeah. Are they gonna fix it for you over at the TA there? Huh? Are they gonna fix it at the TA? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's nice and tight. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, right here to Cortland, I had to pick up this tractor trailer. Where are y'all going? A little whip. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We have to release the brakes and put it in. 
Oh, no, it should already be. Uh, the brakes are already released. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's no street bike, but it's still a nice bike, though. It's me like I know. I seen I seen uh, the only reason I knew it was you guys. Honestly I forgot you went naked on the scolio. But uh, I seen uh you can't miss Kyle with big red ass. <laughs> I seen him coming up from a distance. No, you don't gotta do that one. What? The one in the front. This one? Yeah, this one. In the front. Alright. Uh, You're in the wrong one. The, one. the front one, right here. Right here. This one. The only time we ever got to take that one out is if it's broke or an axle is broke. So see, you can actually do the majority of this one from up here. That one? Yeah. You didn't lose that one, did you? No. Oh, okay. See, I kind of like the straight socket, but you got to get it all the way on there. Huh? You're, you're, yeah, there you go. I can get it up here, go on. There you go. You got a strap already or no? I'll grab one. You got the hammer? Yes, sir. Yeah, put him right on the floor. Yep.
can do it like this, man. I guess I would do the same thing. Those hooks are kind of crap. Right here. It's about the least spring. No, that's how I did, but it's got, I got a cool one right here. Yeah, other way, other side. What? You hook it on. No, no, you got it right. Just you hook it, yeah, like that, yeah. Right. And then slide it towards the end. Then we'll get past that cool line. Put a little bit more chain out there. Load up time now. Here we are. We're just gonna go ahead and pull the sucker all the way to the 